By 2050, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish. My name is Sophie Pajewski and I'm going to discover more about sea life and how plastic affects it. I'm going to interview a scientist to find some answers. First, I'm going to be interviewing Matthew Kane. The first question is, what is the biggest problem you face with the turtles you bring in? They have tons of plastic and other harmful objects inside of them. Second question, what is the most seen plastic product you find? Plastic straws, plastic bags, and plastic soda holders. Next is, what is the percentage of harmed turtles? 74% of turtles are harmed. Last question, who do you work for? That information is classified. Come to theaters 2022, Bioterror. Now I'm interviewing Bentley Pajewski. Your first question is, as a scuba diver, how do you help the sea? I help the sea by recycling the stuff that are in the water. Next question, how much plastic ends up in the ocean per year? More than 10 million tons. That's a lot. Yes. Next question, what fish did you catch right here? I caught shrimp, silver sides, mammoths, and mama chugs. And last question, how do we decrease the amount of plastic in the ocean? By using paper bags at the food store and recycle. And recycle. Thank you for your time and answers. picking up trash like this. Can you tell me what you found today? Uh, okay. I found, uh, I found a glow stick, probably from the bonfire. I found a gum hopper, which it isn't plastic, but it's still trash. Uh, these little itty bitty tiny microplastics. What animals does plastic pollution affect? Unfortunately, all animals. For example, seahorses, whales, dolphins, and different species of fish. Also, sadly, seabirds get affected, like gulls, pelicans, and yeah, they all get affected by plastic waste. Thank you. Ah, I'd like to ask you a question. Yeah. How is plastic affecting the marine life around here? Um, it gets on animals and hurts them really bad but and gives them severe injuries and it's not and end up they might end up dying. One last question. Yeah. How do we help the animals? We can use reusable bags and straws. And we can also limit the amount of plastic waste that we use each day. Thank you all of you for the information. No problem. No problem. No problem. Thanks for watching our documentary. So, behind the scenes, uh, here we are. First, I interview. <laughs> you want to practice that a little first? <laughs> first question As a scuba diver, how do you help the sea? I'm sorry. Well, not really. I don't want to like. Are there any jellyfish? No. Uh, I'm already making golf. I know, but it looks like a Arm sleeve! <laughs> 
Look at the beautiful toilet paper. <laughs> this is the beautiful toilet paper arms. I put the, I put the coffee right here, so now they'll smell the coffee when they put it on. Okay. <laughs>